ABC 15 News at 11 starts now. Now at 11, authorities in Rock County continue to search for two men regarding a homicide investigation. Plus, authorities want to speak with Oscar-winning actor Sean Penn in relation to the case of Mexican drug lord El Chapo. And you're not out yet. The Powerball continues to grow to record levels, creating a lottery frenzy across the nation. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ashley Matthews. And I'm Christine Belport. Bitterly cold to start our work week, and those low temps will be sticking around for a few days. That's right. To let us know what the rest of today looks like, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Charlie Shortino. Hi, Charlie. Hello, we do have the cold weather. We just went above zero, though, uh, up through uh, 11 o'clock. We were registering below zero numbers. We are now at one measly degree over southern Wisconsin. Southerly winds blowing at six. That creates a wind chill of 10 degrees below zero, so it uh, definitely feels cold out there. You'll need to bundle up all afternoon. Uh, we'll look for a three degree temperature at noon, nine at 3 p.m., 10 at 6. Chances of snow late this afternoon and into this evening. Actually, snow becomes likely this evening, and it looks like we'll pick up about an inch of accumulation before all is said and done. Uh, we'll look ahead from there, see what we have going on for the remainder of the week, all coming up in about 10 minutes. Charlie, thank you. New at 11, a Madison police officer has pleaded not guilty to federal corruption charges. 31-year-old Andrew Pullum is accused of taking nearly $4,000 in cash from the trunk of a car. This after an undercover agent posing as a citizen tipster told him she was angry at her boyfriend for dealing drugs and that there might be money and cocaine in the car. The complaint says Pullum removed the money and later called for a drug-sniffing dog but didn't report the money. Madison police have called federal authorities in to investigate. In our continuing coverage, Mexican authorities want to speak with actor Sean Penn. Penn met with drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman in secret while Guzman was on the run after he escaped from a Mexican prison. NBC's Jacob Raskin reports now from Mexico. It is proof, according to actor Sean Penn, of a scoop nobody saw coming. Drug kingpin Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, at the time the world's most famous fugitive, answering questions for a Rolling Stone article in his first interview in decades. Mexican authorities say Penn's meeting might have even helped lead them to El Chapo's hideout in the bloody shootout that ended with his arrest. That and the drug lord's apparent infatuation with Mexican soap opera star Kate Del Castillo. In a made-for-Hollywood plot twist, Del Castillo, who played a drug lord in a popular soap opera on her sister network Telemundo, facilitated the meeting. She also played a drug trafficker on the Showtime series Weeds. Her connection to the real kingpin apparently started in 2012 when, in an open letter on Twitter, she wrote, Mr. Chapo, wouldn't it be cool if you started trafficking with love? You would be the hero of heroes. Life is a business, and the only thing that changes is the merchandise. Don't you agree? Guzman reportedly tried to send her flowers, though she never received any. While Mexican authorities say they're looking at whether Sean Penn will face any legal exposure in Mexico, the focus of American law enforcement is that El Chapo be extradited to the United States as soon as possible. They call the Rolling Stone article, which El Chapo had to screen before it was published, Quote, a sideshow. Reporting in Almaloya de Juarez, Mexico, Jacob Brascone, NBC News. In a Crime Tracker 15 report, law enforcement in Rock County looking for two men who may be connected to a murder. They want to talk to 28 year old Marcus Clay and 26 year old Jamal Sharif. Officers responded Friday to a call on Collie Road in the town of Turtle. When they arrived, they found 29 year old Cassini Hill lying on the road with multiple gunshot wounds. If you have any information, please call the Rock County Sheriff's Office. Governor Walker and some other Republican lawmakers will announce new proposals to help reduce student loan debt today. Governor Walker says part of his State of the State address will talk about the problem and how he wants the state to help. One proposal would give some people a break on their state taxes if they pay interest on student loans. No Powerball winner yet, which means the jackpot has gone up to more than $1 billion. That is crazy. I know. I never would have thought, never in a million years, that at some point since early November, I nobody know. would get the numbers. Someone has to win it this time. Yeah. So this Wednesday, you will get another try to win the largest jackpot ever. NBC's Carrie Sanders reports. 
We were awestruck at 500 million, in disbelief at 900 million, and now gobsmacked as the Powerball jackpot soars to a world record $1.3 billion, a number so large it doesn't even fit on electronic signs or billboards. And this Wednesday, everyone who forks over $2 gets another shot at an unheard of payday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For 10 weeks now, people in 44 states have been lining up as the jackpot keeps rolling over. Oh, yeah, that's huge. It's gigantic. How did we get here? Seems like it's getting there that way all the time. In everything. Wednesday's jackpot began at a mere $40 million back on November 4th. 20 drawings later, with no winner, it's ballooned to more than a billion. Sales this week are expected to eclipse last week's record. Almost $145,000 in sales a minute. If I was able to hit it, I would be able to give everybody I knew a million bucks a piece, and it still wouldn't dent the amount of money I had left. Last year, your odds of winning the jackpot were better, one in 175 million. But Powerball changed their rules last fall. The odds now, one in 292 million. That's like flipping a coin in the air and landing on heads 28 times in a row. That's one. How much is 1.3 billion? It's more money than every presidential candidate collectively spent on their campaigns last year. If you took the $806 million cash payout in dollar bills and stuffed it in 20 piles under your mattress, your bed would be more than 14,000 feet in the air. Come Wednesday night, there's only one certainty. Most of us will wake up from our dreams of riches those the, the winning ones. tickets they're going to pay. And for. still have to go to work. Is it a burden if you win? I don't know. You know what? I'll, I'll let you know when I win. <laughs> Ashley brought up a great point. Yeah, I was just thinking, you know, if you had that winning ticket, the paper ticket, where do you go? The police station? I mean, who do you trust to when protect you're you with that ticket? Yeah, with that, that equals that amount of money. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out on Saturday. Okay, so if you are a lucky winner on Wednesday, or Wednesday, you'll have the option of being paid annually or taking a lump sum, a lump sum of $806 million. That, of course, is before paying federal income taxes. So I'm knocking down, what, half? Uh, yeah. Still, still a good deal. I'm still good there. <laughs>